I guess give you guys a bit of a video tour of the Creative Ed Master Shop. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we have our feature presentation. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Bye. Uh, how do I? Hey, hey. Um, how do I turn this off? That's Assemblies reaching 8 or 10 feet in height. This also led to periodic trips scouting for scrap metal, aluminum, brass, and bronze at Davis Salvage on Washington Street in downtown. And I think this also contributes to the success. It's very backbreaking. Arcosanti was being planned as a small urban prototype intended to house not 200. So I got the popcorn, because the whole point of this is to have a time and a place to have popcorn in a movie theater. <laughs> and the theater is just all done up. It's really beautiful. And uh, hope we can use this as a venue in our community uh, uh, for some time to come. So this film festival idea is uh, from uh, our muse, Tracy McCormick. And safe to say this would uh, not be happening if she hadn't talked me into it. The film festival was, has been wonderful. It was really a um, great experience seeing the shorts. But the Solari film was very profound and uh, affected me quite a bit. And it was amazingly put together by Tracy McCormick and Jim and Ginger Bellalo. We're looking forward to next year. The creative energy of Fairfield meets the world beyond. Film the, the roads between the East Coast and the West Coast stop right here in Fairfield. We're looking forward to next year for the Creative Edge Film Festival 2016.